Six people, one dog, this, and a five hour long road trip to arguably the UK's most beautiful tourist destination, Snowdonia. Our job, climb some big hills and get out of there. Just woken up, it is five o'clock in the morning and we're packing the car. Uh... We've got another four or five hour drive today before we get into the campsite or the caving activities. So we are in the car. Oh my god, left. the vlog has begun! If he's filling out morning. our um, form for caving today. We're going past Costco. Costco. As we got deeper into the journey, we had a number of casualties. Karen, Karen, I've got a cat with no pulse here. I need adrenaline and an IV line. Quick as you can, please. So we have entered Wales and we are back on the hilly roads. We are expected to get there at half past ten. We had a quick stop over at a petrol garage with toilets, uh, filthier than Jeremy Carl's guests. Um, but yeah, nearly that. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear words they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. People stop and stare I can't see their faces Only the shadows of their eyes I'm going where the sun keeps shining Through the pouring rain Going where the weather suits my clothes Banking off of the northeast winds, sailing on summer breeze, and skipping over the ocean like a stone. So with the road trip completed, we moved on to our first activity, exploring an abandoned slate mine in the heart of Snowdonia. Six hours later. So we've just got back to camp. Divi's in her fluffy pajamas. We've got the UV broken fly capture, and we're going to try and project next to the river with our projector. Hashtag shout out to Bruno Sport. Good projector. Um, cars there. And yeah, this is where we're staying tonight. Big mountain tomorrow, we've not done it before, so it should be interesting. Um, yeah, today was good, we did some big caves. It's good, it was about five hours long, but it was really slow. Quite slow going, but how did you find the caves today? Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. The next day. The next morning we awoke to the surreal Welsh countryside. It was stunning. But this beauty did not last for long, as we had a sobering challenge ahead of us. Glider 4, 
a stunning mountain with a peak just over a thousand meters. But don't let its beauty distract you. This mountain has one of the highest mortality rates of any mountain in Wales. This mountain is dangerous. We are just about to climb um, Glider 4. I don't know how you pronounce it. Just left the campsite and it is already 20 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it's absolutely So we've just started our ascent up to the top of Glider. How are we feeling? Good. And this is the path that we're going up. And we are following, if you can find it, this green line up to the top footpath. To the top of the mountain. Much, much later. As you can see, I've stripped down. By the end of this walk, I will probably be completely naked. Um, we've just come through the Porcupine Valley of Death. Um, but we are walking next to a nice river, so... So we've just got up to, not halfway, probably about a quarter of the way there. Found this amazing river, look at this. With a bridge on it. But like Everest. So we have just got, looks about halfway. And uh, we found a rock to stand on. And uh, yeah, certain death is cool. We're finding it, do we? Good. We. You've joined us at one of the most dangerous bits. Uh, this is the edge. I'm on the edge. And it's a very big drop, to say the least. And uh, hopefully. That we make it, I think. Uh, is me going across. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness. Scary. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> wow. One minute, 37 seconds later. So we have just walked through Crazy Bog um, in search of a lake that we've managed to just find now. Just over there. As we continue the walk, we saw some stunning scenery. Look at these hills. The view was completely stunning, but then I found a waterfall. So I've just climbed a waterfall. I'm going to, doing it now. Oh, it's a bit slippery. And uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm getting a few strange looks from the locals as I am in my underwear. Um, however, uh, the water is fresh. Yeah, just fill it up. And then sit underneath the waterfall now. A few moments later. So we've just been walking down the road and the sheep's parkouring across the uh, the wall here. I think they're kind of stuck. Might have to help these baby sheep. Oh, they just parkoured. Parkour! Holidays, it's nuts. It's every single type of animal is doing parkour. It's 
the way back down. It's taking us probably about an hour, around about 10 minutes, 20 minutes to get down. Um, which took about three hours, four hours to get up to the top. 2,000 years later. So you are joining a very sunburned Thomas, um, who refused to put any suntan cream on, um, and lives to regret the tail. Uh, we've just got onto our open tandem kayak, um, and Divi is going to work. So we are finally going into the water. Okay, let me show. Oh. It's like Baywatch. I'm definitely the hot. This is Baywatch. All oh, right, okay, I'm going in. It just cuts down straight away. So we are just about to go into the train. Get in the train. Go on, Loki, go, go, go. Okay, well, now getting into the train. It smells like old train. Um, but the windows are quite cold, I think. You pull it, and then. Whoa, whoa, he's trying to escape. Then you let go of the. Oh! DJ! Drop a beat! on the train called the Welsh Pony. So we just started our journey up Snowden. We're all here. Six pounds for the day. Loki's here. See the dog. That's going to be something that she's going to be doing every day, all day. And uh, yeah, a bit cloudy, but should be good. Are you feeling, Oliver? All right. All right. 
Alright. Uh, oh, another dog as well. So we've just reached the actual bath. I did bath. And got Loki's doing good. I've made the contraption to make sure that if I do drop it, he doesn't get lost. To the top of the snowy snowden. moments later. Now, I don't know if Loki has uh, decided to stop walking uh, as he's tired, but he's looking at the view. The view is uh, it's all right. We're not halfway, probably done about a quarter. Uh, the clouds is coming in now, as you can see, all the stuff there. Um, Loki's a bit tired now. He's had his water, he's had his food. Oh, no, he's trying to sleep now. So, yeah, you just make yourself feel at home, mate. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, we won't be able to see anything at the top, I don't think. Um, but it'll be a good challenge, so. Yeah. Dog out. So, uh, we're probably about 20 minutes away from the summit. He's just kind of given up now, he's just laid on the bottom of his leg. Are you fine, Oliver? You fine? Fine. How's the view fine yet? Yeah, good. Yeah. The clouds coming in and now we just got a zigzag, so. Um, yeah, it should take us probably about 20 minutes. Five minutes later. So we have made it to the summit. And uh, here it is. Got a bit of a tune coming on. And the restaurant's closed. We're also excited to have a hot chocolate. And uh, we can't now. So we're just gonna have some cold energy drinks. And, uh, stand on the summit and enjoy ourselves. So yeah, see you in a bit. There's nobody up there. Literally like three people, four people. It's so busy sometimes. So, here at the top, waiting. The British people often do. Divi's on the phone call. How was it? Fine. You can do one more now. We've just got to the top. King in the castle, king in the castle. Meanwhile, hello. Uh, you join us coming back down from Snowden. It's very, very windy, cloudy. We're making really good time, um, really fast. I've done it in two hours and come back in probably about an hour so far. Oh, just over there, Loki's leading the way. Come on, Loki, come on! Oh, oh, Loki, come on! Come on, come on! Come on! He definitely loves it. He's not even that tired. Every single time we stop, he falls asleep. But when we're walking, he loves it. So he's had his whole can of dog food. He's had his water. And uh, yeah, this is the view. Oh, oh he's in a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's come out though. and the sheep and miles and uh, like he wants to say hello to the sheep and uh, he's going to and he said the sheep off the sheep was like oh, <laughs> oh not even that the sheep's like how dare you <laughs> he's like no let me say hello <laughs> three thousand years later I can't take it no more 
no more Fuck the Make it make sense, I can't hide a heart in the black tent, I You were off the bullshit and the tablets Under 21, both savage All these blurry nights feel the same to me Heart full of hate, no vacancy So this didn't charge at all, I thought it did charge uh, This is a tree, we're just going for some dinner now And it's a beautiful village, isn't it? Church, Jesus, Mary, parents, nips. Next morning. So we're at the beach in Wales. This is the beach. And if you can see in the distance there is Tom, Oliver and Loki. And they're cleaning him because he's absolutely dirty. This has been Scarlet Regan reporting from Wales. Thank you and good night. Yeah. I never felt so good Ooh. Call me DJ, no, 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 no. Both I'll have your girl and go Need you know what she can leave with man too Both I'll have your luck and do a gang boo So do you wanna bash on the man boo Bring every age in the band too Julie Bush and Wendy, I know Where the joy could have filled to the freedom of jail She looking so pretty, I wanna a kiss But beautiful memory, turn all over the FX I, 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 hope 24 can be gone for the A Got her on front of the A-O He's an idiot, he's Alright, we're gonna, we're running to the scene now Loki, Loki Hey Woo! 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 Woo!